Damn it, Landy. Why did you have to polish so many fucking books? Odd enough. Oh! I will lift them. Bastards. I swore in one video and that's it. Now I'm just sweary Mary. Which was a nickname from my lecturers at uni. And you guys all thought I was so innocent. Hey guys, it's Abby and today I'm going to be talking about Skullduggery Pleasant by Derek Landy. So this is a big series. I'm not holding them all because insert clip of me holding them for the thumbnail here. Ah, they're so heavy. So yeah, if you think I'm holding them all, you are wrong. I mean, you're not wrong, I did it already, but I'm not doing it again. <laughs> this is a series that I absolutely adore and I realised that I hadn't actually made a video on my channel about it. I've noticed that a lot with series or books that I love that I haven't talked about them as much as I want to. So you get in a dang video. Don't ask me what that accent was. So, so Goldberry Pleasant is the first book in the series and this was published in 2007. And there's been almost one book every year since then, apart from 2014 to 2017, there was a gap. So these books, I have them all bar two in hardback as well. So uh, do I have to? No, I was gonna lift up the, uh, the first half but yes the series has been split into two halves so far and this is the new half and the old half have covers that more match this. This is a middle grade series that follows a skeleton detective and a young girl who is around 11 years old in the first book and it follows them solving mysteries and doing magic in Ireland. Ireland is a cradle of magic um, in the real world. Ireland does have quite a lot of folklore around magical beings and so this is something that Derek Landy, who is Irish, plays upon and it's just a really well written middle grade series. So although it is middle grade, it is a lot darker than you would expect. It will quite happily kill off characters, show a lot of violence, mention a lot of blood. It is like 11 plus I think I've seen on some of the books but it is still counted as a middle grade, I'm not entirely sure why. It's fucking great. And then because it's middle grade as well, it means that it's so easy to read. It's written to be a fast read because it's written for children. And it means that as an adult, I'm like, fuck yes, I can read this all day. <laughs> so there are 13 books currently, not including the half books, like the short stories that have been released. And the 14th book is due in 2021 because Seasons of War came out this year in 2020. This is the only one I've not read yet. This is the only Skullduggery Pleasant book that has been released that I've yet to read. This series of middle grade books is incredibly dark for middle grade and the witty humour I adore so so much. It is that sort of dry stupid humour that I love. It also manages to tackle important issues and as the books have went on and as Derek Landy has developed himself there's actually development of um, sexuality and fluidity and things like that and that kind of ebbs and flows and comes to more of a head in the end of the series and seeing as this is a series aimed at kids I think it's really great to show that diversity in the LGBTQ plus community. We have our main character being bisexual I believe and that has developed in the later half of the series but I really do think that's a great sign of Landy showing that he's developed as an author as well. It has been over a decade since the first book was published um, so he's had a lot of time and I think it's really good that his developing viewpoints have been included in this series. I am ridiculously excited for what's next. I always love these books. He manages to somehow still keep me enthralled. He doesn't shy away from the murder and the death and the blood and the gore which is kind of odd to read when you remember that it's a middle grade but I don't normally remember. But clearly it's fine otherwise the publishers wouldn't have published it. I'm gonna go through the books now. As I said I have all of them bar two in hardback. This was not actually my original Skullduggery copy that's in the garage because I got this second hand. My mum gifted me the first three books all in this paperback and I read them, those are my original copies, but since those three, every single book that has been released, I've gotten it straight after publication. My mum used to work in DeBritt Smith, DeBritt Smith's, and so she would pick them up when she was at work for me, and they used to do the exclusive editions with DeBritt Smith, so I got all of them, and then for the second half of the series, it switched to Waterstones having the exclusives, and now my mum doesn't work in DeBritt Smith's, so I just get them from Waterstones, great. Uh, it's worked out very well for me. So let's get into all 15, 16 books that I have here. You'll see. So first up is Skullduggery Pleasant. 
Then we have Playing With Fire, The Faceless Ones, Dark Days, Mortal Coil, Deathbringer, Kingdom of the Wicked, The End of the World. This is a World Book Day little book that you would get for free with a voucher or you pay £1 for because the vouchers are handed out in schools. And this is actually included in the short story collection that's coming up. Not this one though. This is Tanith Lowe in the Maleficent 7, The Last Stand of Dead Men. This is the short story collection, Armageddon Out of Here. <laughs> And then the last one in this selection of the series is The Dying of the Light. Then, Resurrection. Can you see the difference in the covers? I mean, actually, that doesn't look so bad. But like, all of the... Uh, shut up. Midnight, Bedlam, and the only one I haven't read, which is Seasons of War. I don't want to say too much. Uh, I could say a lot more about this series. There's obviously a lot of backstory that I can delve into, but I don't want to ruin it for anyone who hasn't started the series yet. I will say that if you are middle grade and if you enjoy magic and fighting and stuff like that, 100% go for it. If you're an adult and you are fine with reading stuff aimed at a slightly younger audience, this does feel like much older middle grade. Uh, it does actually say 11 plus on the back of quite a few of these books. So if you're under 11, get parental permission. I don't know, but yeah, I think on all of them it actually says 11 plus on the back because it is aimed at an older child audience but these are genuinely so much fun they're stupid and engrossing and hilarious and filled with magic so i really adore all these books so much and now i have to put them back on the shelf which is all standing on the bed with 15 books 16 if you include the tiny one let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna read these books if you have read skullery pleasant Tell me what you thought of it, if you kept reading it, if you think the series is too long, wouldn't blame you, um, but I think it's worth it. And I will continue to buy all of them in hardback and hopefully one day I'll be able to get Playing With Fire and The Faceless Ones in hardback. I'll keep these because they were my first ever copies, but I would like the complete series in hardback. Click subscribe if you want to see me talk more about books that I love. Um, and click like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I've got to put these back on the shelves. Uh. What? Is that a receipt? Oh, it's a bookmark. Oh, I found a bookmark. From Lombard. I went to Lombard Street when I was like 12. This is how long I've had this series. The sparrow flies south for the winter.